Welcome everyone to my channel. My name is Grossi Africa and I want to be talking about the issue of Christmas list. So what have you learned from Chris? Chris um, going to Trinidad filming some negative content, um, getting arrested in Trinidad and locked up in police cells. What did you learn about that? Chris had been a very good friend of the Mwango, Mara, I mean the Mara's family and some other people for a very long time. They have worked together, they have shared together and when Chris was getting arrested, I didn't know, I didn't see none of those posts, Chris. No one talked about um, uh, how we going to assist Chris pay his, pay his bail, yeah, the police, or the, maybe uh, pay for his release from uh, the police custody. I didn't see anyone uh, try to contribute something to help uh, Chris uh, finance his Lego, Lego what? Yeah, the case, the case in court. What, what did you learn about that? And by then, what's your opinion about someone coming to your country and uh, promoting, I will call it negative uh, tourism or something? Yes. You know, every country invests a lot in promoting um, the positive side of it. Yeah, promoting tourism. Now someone comes to your country and in this case, a very influential person, a very big person on social media, and they trying to discredit what you guys have been um, promoting. So, did the uh, the criminal justice system in Trinidad do wrong? Yeah, by arresting Chris and. Um, taking him through the Lego process, the re Lego system, was, was that an offense? I want you to leave a comment. I've seen some uh, big YouTubers and I would say uh, friends to Chris trying to talk about um, why people should never visit Trinidad and Tobago. In this case, I'm trying to be open-minded. I know, I, I got to be known on these social media platforms because of the tr Trinidad and Tobago. So I don't want to be one-sided. So I want to be discussing with you. And meanwhile, I have a team with me who might still want them to comment about, uh, about it, the whole issue. So my friend Shabi will be commenting something about the same. Shabi. Yeah. Discuss, discuss that. Well, I mean, I, you know, my channel is about bridging gaps, and like I said, I grew up with a lot of Caribbean folk. And shout out to my Caribbean folk, especially Trini people. One of my friends was from Trinidad, and actually, one of my cousins, her father's from Trinidad. She's half Liberian, half Trini. So when people like us go to countries like Trini, we don't even think about going that side of the towns uh, that Chris and these guys try to go to. Not necessarily we're not from there, because we're from these type of areas. So we don't go there for content. We go there for seeing our family. You understand? Where I'm from is from uh, those type of neighborhoods. So uh, I'm new to creating content for our neighborhoods. I know, I'm know i known in these parts. Just like a very like that, we, we were going there before we started doing content. So we don't go to these neighborhoods for clicks and views. And um, if you're going to go to these neighborhoods, especially uh, these countries, please show the struggle. It's, of course, show the struggle, but also show the beauty that's going on, show local businesses that's going on, show the nightlife, show the beach. Don't just stay on one topic. You can have one video of maybe some, uh, you know, the hood guys over here, but then you can have something like school kids doing something, uh, the markets, you know. But one thing you learn about these YouTubes and these social media, um, you know, once you get a, a wave of people following your content and those clicks and views get up, you get up to 100,000 subscribers, you know, I know nothing about that. Uh, you want to stay at that, that wave. So I'm not going to talk about that man's content. I don't, you know, I only watch a few of his clips. I'm very new to his con uh, his uh, his uh, social platforms, but I see it's a very huge platform. So people like that, um, 
they have their own production team. So they go to places where they want to go. He's a traveling YouTuber and you know, he produces a lot of big content around the world. So long story short, any country you go to, don't just show the negative because um, you gotta understand who's watching these content. Law enforcement is watching this, people. I don't know who y'all think is just subscribers watching this. Law enforcement, yes, the FBI, CIA, Kenya enforcement, people, uh, they get a lot of their information from watching our, our videos, watching our Instagrams, TikToks, and all that stuff like that. These are not just social platforms uh, for the subscribers. Trust me, law enforcement like this. They like watching this too. They don't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Law enforcement watch these videos. Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone, yes. but they watch it. Yeah. Videos. So this is not only just for us. Yeah. So, yeah. so make sure when you're doing content, show every view yeah. of the country you're going to. Mm -hmm. You know. That's pretty yeah. much what I gotta say. Yeah. I I I like whatever Shabi is trying to say, and I know that uh, negative content sells a lot, and YouTubers are out there. Yeah, after money, they're looking after money is, uh, instead of uh, being open-minded and trying to think what would be the repercussion of me me doing uh, uh, some kind of a content. So, Sheila, uh, the flying girl, you have an opinion, you, you first of all, for you, do you know Trinidad and Tobago? Yes, I do. You do. But um, <laughs> I don't know if I should comment on people's uh, content The guy. Yeah, the guy. Yeah. No, but uh, on this case, not, not about the guy. Yeah. About someone is, coming to your country and uh, spreading negative stories about no, the country. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. But I, mean, I, I feel, um, Shabby said that um, we, should, we should be promo uh, showing the reality, both negative and positive. Yeah, Just, but uh, don't showing, focus, on, don't the focus negative, on the negative. You know? Uh -huh. Because as much as you're focusing on the negative, you're ruining a lot of victims' lives in yeah. the process. Oh, yeah. ah, good. So we have some uh, white guy here there. Show, show them. So that show. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what does that show you? Great cameo. Great yeah, cameo. Yeah. But the <laughs> Africans. Uh, in, in, in Africa, we we so accommodative. Yeah, we're ready to mingle with anyone. So whether you, you, regardless of the country you're coming from, in Africa you can just walk in the streets and no one will question you. You are safe. Yeah, this is Africa. Africa, the crowd of mankind. So, you guys, look, Africans are driving big vehicles. Big vehicles. Damn. So by then the side we headed to, that's the rich neighborhood of this city. Yeah. That section of the rich neighborhood of Nairobi. So those people saying talking about why people should not visit Trinidad and Tobago. We need to be careful in what you're saying. I like how African tigers have gone to Haiti and now everyone is talking um it's being so positive about Haiti. Yeah. People have seen this the, the positive side about that country and the beauty of that country. Yeah. Now if I was given the opportunity to travel to Haiti, I won't have so many questions. I know where to go to and where to avoid. I know. Some areas like the port uh, port of prince, port of prince. Yeah, might be a bit tricky to live in, maybe a bit tricky to visit, but we still love, we, we still have good places like Cap Asian, yeah, so this is Nairobi, Nairobi, the green city below the sun, I don't know whether the sun is reflecting my lenses, so we are stuck on a traffic jump. Yeah, the traffic jam in Nairobi at times is crazy. It's crazy. But I like I like how the city is so green. So anytime I'm traveling across this city, I'm traversing the city, I like uh, enjoying the views yeah, on my surroundings. Mm-hmm. On my surroundings.
they um, the country has really invested on infrastructure. We have good roads, railway system, yeah. Everything uh, I, I believe very soon uh, gonna Kenya gonna uh, gonna be part of the yeah at the class of fast growing countries. So <laughs> lately we, we rated as a third third world country, and I be, I believe um, by the what what's the other class? Okay, Kenya is our third world country. How do, how do you rate America, UK, those countries? First one? First, wo it, first world countries? We won't say this. Look, look, look at the figures. Mm -hmm. First world. First world. In quotes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> first world, yeah. Don't listen to the... the oh, the of, media. What you first see out there? My brother, you know, come on, By the infrastructure in Kenya? Oh, it's, it's first world. It's first world, it's, right? <laughs> bro, I've been telling y'all people. Uh -huh. Man, you come to America, people do not live like this. Majority of people do not live like this. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you live in 10 times, you're looking at things 10 times better, and it's cleaner. And, uh. Cleaner. That's the most, uh, most important. By the way, the, the, the skyscrapers in this city, yes. I believe they are they're even better than what we find in the US. Yeah. Do you believe so? Yeah. Well, the last time I the agree. US is old, I mean, especially New York City. Uh -huh. It's an old city, so. If you look at pictures from New York City back from 1800s and early 1900s, yeah. look at today, it's, no, it's really no difference. Uh -huh. They did a few buildings. Oh. Uh -huh. you know, so everything oh. is pretty much oh. it's still old in style. Mm -hmm. These are more newer style type of cities that are being built. Right now. Oh yeah. You here? So Nairobi is a good place, and no wonder we have been voted as the. Best city to travel in the year 2024, and I believe come next year, still Nairobi gonna be voted uh, the best city to travel uh, to travel to. The only city with a national park with a game park at the city center. So we are almost to our destination. Kindly keep on subscribing and leave a comment there. So anything else you want me to discuss about, kindly reach out to me. I'm going to be approaching Nairobians and uh, getting their opinions about, about it. By the way, we are in the rich neighborhoods of Nairobi now. We are in Kilimani and uh, at these places, people don't know what you consume in the other areas of Nairobi so where we live in you can find someone in this moving to the street and looking for small child you know what small child is <laughs> can you explain so, can you explain these to me what, let me tell you something these two have never tasted small or the one that has mandazi and mayai in before and eggs. So mayai in is the egg. mandazi uh, my so eyes, I was I telling them yeah. they have to try it. Well, I don't know if the special she's talking about, but I had had my guy on the streets. Maybe it was just with Nanya. Maybe it was just with Tamir. Yeah, you should, you should. I don't know if it was with Tamir. <laughs> but it's but love. she's not lying. The my guy is on the side of the street. Some of the best foods we eat. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you watching us from? Do we have uh, some hoods for the rich and some other places for the for the middle class and probably for the poor? Yeah. Leave a comment. Let me hear something about it. So what we consume in other areas different from what we consume in these neighborhoods. So uh, something good with being uh, not being so much rich. So what we consume is fresh from the garden, from the shamba, I mean. But these guys buy everything from the, the stores. It's never fresh. You believe that? Yeah. So it's yeah. always on the street? Yeah. People on the street buy from the stores. Uh, no, people from mostly the streets, okay. find... the ones who are selling yes. Ukuko Barabara on the streets, okay. they get them straight to the Shamba, come sell them, and that's it. And exactly. then tomorrow gets others come sell. You know? uh, they, 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 they have no refrigerators. Look at that truck. Yeah. But the people who eat it, we don't know. We just, we mm. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. The rich neighborhood of Nairobi. Hey, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
so we are still traf stuck in the traffic jam and i need to end this video here my name is gossy africa so whoever's not subscribed to this channel can you go ahead and subscribe and thank you so much for whoever has always been coming back to watch my videos yeah it can't go unappreciated <laughs> Go see. Uh, Go see.